Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and today we're going to be talking about playground equipment in the UK versus the USA. Here we go. So I'm an American, and I'm living in England, I'm traveling around the UK, and I'm doing that with my three-year-old daughter whose name is Willow. Willow loves playgrounds. She loves the park, she loves playing outside, that's just like any other three-year-old. She loves it. And so no matter where we go in the UK, we've had the opportunity to go to literally dozens of parks in the UK, so that way she can enjoy the time climbing on things, swinging and swings, she loves the whole experience. I do want to say, for Willow, I don't think she would notice a difference between parks in the US and the UK. I think for people who are three years old, parks do what they're supposed to do. They're absolutely perfect for that, and no matter where you are, they tend to be about the same. Obviously, she may notice some differences, but they're not going to be, she wouldn't say that one park is objectively better than the other. She really likes parks just in general. For an adult who's visiting parks with your three-year-old, though, I think you could notice lots of differences between parks in the U.S. versus the U.K. And depending on what kind of parent you are, you actually may like one country's parks over the other. I'll explain more. There are lots of small differences between the general ideas of parks in the U.S. versus the U.K. For instance, uh, the baby swings or the toddler swings have a different design. Nearly everywhere in the U.S., they're made out of this kind of flexible rubber. They kind of look like an upside down rounded bucket with the legs cut out. Um, and they're a really simple design. In the UK, they use a similarly simple design, but it's different. It's the shape of kind of a crate or a box and it swings in the same way. It's pretty much the same, but it's more rigid. So you have a flat bottom instead of something that conforms to, to your, your child's bottom. It doesn't make a difference. It does the same thing. What's really interesting about the playground equipment in the US versus the UK though, the actual big differences are in the risk level that's associated with parks in the UK. In the US over the last 20 to 50 years or so, they've taken the time to make the playgrounds safer. So for instance, there was a park close to my house when I grew up that had a merry-go-round in it. And it was super dangerous. It was like like made out of metal and was super slick. And so you'd spin that thing around and like once a week someone was falling off and hitting their head. The, the merry-go-round had to go obviously because it was a safety risk. And so they got rid of it. Similarly, in the daycare that I was at when I was a little kid, there was this really, really tall slide. And I actually fell off of it once when I was a kid from the very top and knocked the wind out of myself. It was a really unfortunate experience. And they got rid of that slide too. In the US, there's been kind of this idea that safer playground equipment is better because safe kids equals better. That seems self-evident. That's why when I came to the UK, I was surprised to see a lot of the dangerous equipment that's been removed from the US alive and well here. Every park I go to has like four or five things that spin. Spinning things in general aren't that safe because kids let go when it gets too fast and then they fall off and they're dizzy and they slam into things and they get concussions and that's just true. And tall things, obviously, those are inherently risky because the higher you get off the ground, the more likely you are to fall to the ground from that height. And so in the UK, I've also been surprised to see incredibly tall slides and incredibly, you know, just things that are easy to fall off of and things that are just inherently riskier. This difference seems like you would automatically say, well, the US must be better then. If they've got safer equipment, it's better than the less safe equipment that the UK has. And in some ways that might be true. Like for instance, for Willow to play on, that may be true because for a three-year-old, you'd want safer equipment, not dangerous equipment. But what happens in the UK, and I've noticed this a lot, and I've noticed it in myself even, is because the equipment is bigger and more dangerous, it's more likely to encourage an adult to play with their kids on the playground equipment. For instance, at the park that's closest to my house, we have this really great obstacle course that is way too advanced for Willow. She can't possibly do it on her own, which means she wants to do it, of course, which means I have to go do it with her. That's the only way she could possibly do it. And so there I am climbing on this obstacle course with Willow, enjoying it, having fun, and we're doing it together because it's riskier, because there's no way she could do it without me. I think it's also better for older kids. As you're getting into the teenage years, I think in the UK, it's really easy to still go to a playground and enjoy playground equipment. Whereas in the US, that's harder to do. There's a bit of a stigma about older kids and adults using playground equipment. In the UK, I feel like there is less of that stigma. Like it's more accepted and I think necessary to play on the playground equipment with your kids in the UK. Overall, I wouldn't say that one is objectively better than the other. I think they're very different. And I personally think that the UK one is better for me and for where our family's at right now. 
I really enjoy the fact that I get to enjoy the equipment with my daughter. That we get to spin on the spinny things and ride the tall slide together and that the equipment is big enough and heavy enough that it can support me and risky enough that it needs to support me if Willow wants to do it. I really enjoy the playgrounds in the UK because they're riskier. There's also a really interesting article about this that I'll link in the description about how risk on playgrounds might actually be better for kids. Anyway, if you've enjoyed any of this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. We put out new content every single week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so we'll see you guys next time.